Hey guys, what's going on? Turbulent Limbo here with a little tutorial on how to turn variable frame rate uh, video into constant frame rate video. Now, um, a lot of gaming channels, a lot of live streamers are going to have an issue with this because they use like, I don't know, they use XSplit, OBS, Shadowplay even uh, to record their stuff and all those um, record in variable frame rates, which is really nice for saving file size, but it doesn't work with all applications. Like if you try to use uh, Premiere Pro, any Adobe product, it's not going to work. You're going to need constant frame rate. So here's what you do. Um, basically, um, I'm going to, you take your footage being whatever that is. I recorded a little something before, so I'm going to show you that. This is the variable frame rate example for the tutorial. Yep, so I took that like little video that um, I wanted to turn into constant frame rate. This is variable frame rate. And yeah, I want to preserve as much quality as I can from this because it shows my whole desktop. So here is how uh, we would do that. First, you got to download a little program, which I do have the link for in the description. It's called Handbrake. And basically, you open that. Now, I know you guys are thinking like, oh, you have to, you have to compress it. You have to convert it. Yes, but if you do the right settings, you're not going to lose any quality. And this is probably the fastest converter out there. And it's free. Obviously, I, I wouldn't give you guys something that costs money. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, th there's no like plugin or something I can give you, but this is something that does take a very, very short time. So basically what you do is you download this program. It's free link in the description. And basically what you do is you pick the video. So you go to open file. This is the video you want to convert. So I'm going to pick my recording, let that process. And then what you want to do is uh, make sure you have all your settings so you have your video you want to make sure that this is set to chapters be because basically what it's going to do is you're going to say how much do you want to convert um, if you go chapters and go one to one basically what that means is you're going to be converting the whole thing so don't really worry about it just make sure it's chapters one to one and that means you're actually converting the whole video next what you want to do is for the video you're going to output uh, browse a destination I'm gonna put it in the same uh, folder I'm gonna call it tutorial converting and basically it's gonna save there once it's done um, you can actually choose your um, file type I'm gonna choose an mp4 because mp4 is what a uh, YouTube likes best so that's probably what you're recording in so output settings mp4 and click large file size now this isn't gonna be large file size if anything it's gonna add 20% maybe to your file size like just do it it's gonna give you the best quality then what you want to do is you don't need picture, filters, all you need is video and audio. So go to your video. Um, I'm going to be using the H.264 codec. You guys can use uh, MPEG-4, um, MPEG MPEG-2, uh, lot, lots of uh, great codecs for YouTube. I like H.264, so I'm going to pick that. Then what, what, you, what you want to do is pretty much this is the heart and soul of this tutorial, the frame rate. What you want to do is pick your frame rate at least close while it is variable my variable frame rates hovering around uh, 30 frames per second so i'm gonna pick 30. Uh, you're probably going to want to pick 30 or 60 because uh youtube peaks at 30 and this is the very very important part what you want to do is click constant frame rate and what's that what that's going to do is going to take your frame rate uh, mine being 30 make that constant and there's not going to be any more audio desynchronous desynchronization uh, no more problems with that um, next, what you want to do is, um, this is pretty much for quality, uh, bump this all the way up to uh, H.264 preset. Uh, the more it is to the left, the higher quality. Uh, the more it is to the right, um, well, actually, never mind. Yeah, keep it to the left. Um, it's gonna, it's a pretty good balance between uh, quality and uh, speed. It does say ultra fast, but believe me, it's all right. Um, tune, keep it on film, just uh, good quality. Uh, main. Now H.264 level, that's just your like audio, um, your quality. I'm gonna pick 5.1 because that's what I record in. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Now this one, um, you could go one of two ways. You can either just choose your quality by this uh, numerical value. I'm gonna pick my bit rate and since I record at 10 megabytes per second, I, that would be 10,000 kilobytes per second. You just, uh, you just do the multiplication. So keep the uh, bit rate the same and then you really shouldn't lose any quality. So frame rate, constant all the way to the left film 5.1 you're probably gonna have 5.1 unless you really have an awesome system than 5.2 but 5.1 for me and I'm gonna use the bitrate option with 10,000 kilobytes per second if your video is different you want to lower that hind out whatever it is then you want to go to your audio 
You want to go to your codec. I like uh, AAC because that's also what YouTube accepts. You could always also pick MP3, but I like AAC. And then you want to pick a uh, FMEG. So AAC, FMEG. Bitrate, um, I record in 320. Uh, this is all kind of like depending on your microphone and your program. I record at 48,000 uh, kilobytes per second. Um, mix down, you just want to turn this to automatic just so you don't have any problems. And that's already it. Uh, you're ready to convert. Just to quickly go over, over everything we've done. Import chapters 1, 1. Uh, choose your output. Make sure this is MP4 or whatever file type. Keep it on a large file size video. Uh, whatever codec, uh, whatever frame rate, make sure it's constant, that's really important. Um, all the way to the left, film, 5.1 or your equivalent, and then whatever bit rate or uh, quality numerical value you uh, desire. So once you're pretty much done, you got your settings lock it, locked in, also the audio settings, what you want to do is just click start, and it's going to do that, and you see on the bottom left, it's already done. Obviously it was a pretty short video, but uh, just a little perspective, I do this on my Binding of Isaac playthroughs, which are around 35 minute videos, and it does take around seven, uh, three to seven minutes to convert, so three minutes for a 35 minute video is awesome. So, really fast, now that that's done, uh, we can open Premiere, and you see we have our file right here. Um, I will play that for you, just so you see it. This is the variable frame rate example for the tutorial. You see the audio the sa is the same, you see the video is still pretty much the same quality, I couldn't tell a difference, and I'm the one actually looking at it uh, through the monitor, so I probably have a better frame of reference, here we go, and only, only difference is now it's 30 frames constant, so now you can import that in here, I'm going to minimize that, um, I'm also going to add an intro just, just for the fun of it, so you guys see how I actually make my videos, drop my intro in. Uh, just so this doesn't destroy your ears, um, I'm going to drop this to uh, negative 8 decibels. And now we can uh, put in our video. And I'm assuming most of you guys have a problem with uh, Premiere Pro with the variable constant issue. Sony Vegas does not have this issue because it accepts variable frame rate. But now, you see if we play this, we have my intro. Pretty cool. This is the variable frame rate example for the tutorial. And especially uh, when you play long uh, gameplay type stuff, after like 20, 25 minutes, it's going to start to get uh, desynchronized because every second it's going to be off by like, I don't know, 0.1 frames and that's just going to accumulate. Um, I don't have an example for you right now because that would take a bit too long for this tutorial, but believe me, it's synced perfectly. Your audio from your microphone, your audio from the game, if you do happen to be recording a game, even your desktop, uh, both work. That's how you turn variable into constant and j just if you guys aren't like fully uh, impressed uh, you can go to your properties for the uh, new video details 30 frames per second constant you s originally I think it was it was either 30 variable or 60 variable but it definitely works guys so uh, do download the link in the description and hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out I don't like to do tutorials often but this really helped me out and it's going to help you guys out with shadow play exploit whatever um if you enjoyed do leave a like below it immensely helps the uh well not the series in this case but the video grow and um thanks for watching guys do consider subscribing if that's what you're into and i'll see you guys on the next one stay awesome peace